so often biking and bike riding is a male dominated activity. So getting to reach this huge audience of young women who are interested in bike curious is really, really cool to me. So that is like success in my eyes. Um, I've actually never owned a car. Nick, my husband, owned one and we didn't use it except to go to the coast. And two times when we tried to go to the coast, it broke down. Oh. So we were like, no, we don't yeah. need this. We got rid of it. It's such a stigma that you have to be a certain body type to ride a bike and to be a bike rider. And I just, I don't subscribe to that. I'm a very healthy person. I'm still a plus size woman and I'm a bike rider. I feel like Portland is a really inclusive base to begin biking. Over the last year, have really gotten into bike riding as a group. Um, I needed a chance to meet people that was outdoors throughout the pandemic, and Portland Bike Rides have really offered that to me. After making TikToks for a while, I had quite a few people following me, and the majority of comments I got were about wanting someone to ride bikes with in Portland. Someone who could help them get comfortable riding bikes in the city. Instead of meeting up with every single person one-on-one, -on -one, I decided to start hosting some beginner bike rides. I go into the office about three days a week, um, commuting each day. It's nice to have a mix of at home and in office days. I get asked a lot of questions when I'm in the office, so get a lot of work done when I'm at home, but I don't get the commute. Quite often I'll get people responding that say, I bought a bike because of you, or I started riding my bike because of you. And that is kind of like the ideal scenario of why I started this. And it is an incredible feeling.